Hey everyone, quite a few news stories of note this week. Iran threatening to seize a British ship, the Tommy Robinson sentencing, Facebook being fined $5 billion, and Jeremy Corbyn's team denying accusations of anti-Semitism and saying that the whole story is itself a Jewish global conspiracy against them. Hashtag irony. Plus, looking at the news, there's also something about a weird health tip that a mum in the Midwest has discovered. Uh, actually, no, that's an advert. Never mind. Let's talk about the resignation of the UK's ambassador to America, Sir Kim Darroch. He's going to be looking for a new job in the after-dinner circuit after a news leak publicly revealed a number of less than flattering comments he'd made about the president. He's certainly not the first person to head home after a failed career in America, and it's certainly the only thing that the career diplomat has in common with Cheryl Cole. He's also one of the rare cases of someone having to resign from a job in Washington who wasn't involved in any of President Trump's financial or legal disputes. President Trump responded to the claims of being, quote, clumsy and inept by going on Twitter, why not, and called Sir Kim, quote, a very stupid guy. Although most people have missed the point when it comes to this story, the ambassador didn't resign because of his opinions. What changed was that he was left fundamentally unable to do his job after those thoughts were made public and he was uninvited from all the events he needs to actually attend in order to do that job. I would say it's a bit like a race car driver having his license revoked for drunk driving, except those guys seem to swig back huge bottles of champagne after the race and the police never seem to stop them on the way home. Another set of rules for the rich, I guess. On the other hand, perhaps Sir Kim leaked the story himself in order to allow Theresa May to appoint a new ambassador in place to scuttle Boris's likely premiership. Let's wait and see, I guess. If that were the case, and I would imagine Sir Kim might want to go to a hardware store and purchase some sandpaper in order to familiarise himself with a map of whatever third world country Boris's new administration decides to appoint him to as thanks for that. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, please subscribe. Bye.